Has this ever happened to you? You're playing a free-to-play mobile game, and every few minutes you are bombarded with these ads. They're really bad ads. Bad advertisements. And they aren't just bad in a singular way. They usually look cheaply cobbled together and don't really resemble the actual product. The content is sort of sophomoric, but still strangely adult, and perhaps most insulting of all, the game being shown is being played poorly. <gasps> you are being manipulated. You may not have realized it, but your brain did. Each one of these strange formats is preying on your insecurities. It's playing with the little rat in a maze part of your brain that wants the cheese at the end. These mobile game ads dare ask, are you a bad enough person to cheat on your spouse? We will get to that. For some strange reason, these ads like to fixate on adultery? I don't know. <laughs> Just take a look at this Homescapes ad. The default art style is already bland enough, but these ads seem to want to adopt a bitmoji slash family guy look in an attempt to broaden the appeal. This Toon Blast game does the exact same thing along with this makeover game which adopts a very different art style to catch your eye. Then we have the Matchington Mansion ads that go for the exact same look as the Gardenscape stuff. They must outsource these ads to some sketchy ad company because the art style is literally the same. They just swapped out the characters. Sometimes the Matchington Mansion ads are rendered with shoddy 3D models, like those infamous Mafia City memes. Even though the game is about home renovation, they show scenes of a prison escape. Just going off the ads I saw in the Apple Store recently, it would seem like every single game on the platform is a game where you pull some pins to have your character not die or not get diarrhea on them. Oftentimes, there's a treasure you need to recover. The game asks how to loot, or states only 5% of people can solve this. If it's not a pull the pin game, it's some weird multiple choice test on what tool you should pick to not freeze to death. Even in these ads, you attempt to avoid being absolutely drenched in diarrhea. Literally, like, half the Homescapes ads, you are dodging diarrhea, but every time, you're just coated in it. Homescapes uses these two completely different gameplay, in big air quotes, styles for every ad, I guess because it would be too boring to show that the game is actually a match three puzzle game just like Bejeweled. The only difference is that sometimes you get to upgrade a house or a lawn. We take a look at Fishdom or Project Makeover and it's the exact same thing. Solve one very obvious puzzle to survive. But then you download the game and it's a Bejeweled clone that moonlights as The Sims. Completing a match three puzzle earns a currency which then can be used to renovate your enormous mansion or fish tank or whatever. These misleading ads got so bad that in the UK, the ASA deemed two different Gardenscapes ads as not representative of the product. So they were banned and the games were updated, so that once every hundred or so matches that you play, you get to do a pin puzzle game. Cool. Yeah, that seems fun. Great. Yeah, like. Too bad they got around to fixing this, because now I still have to see all these ads all the time. Yikes. I keep mentioning diarrheas, and I will not stop here. Another method these ads seem to utilize is this gross-out tactic. For example, Project Makeover features an ad where some woman is so fucking gross, so stinky, and unkempt that you have to give her a makeover. There's no way around it. There are these adverts for these nail salon games that feature toenails that are so overgrown with fungus, the nails seem absolutely shattered. And I'm not going to even look it up because I don't like gross toes. Sorry, my intern reported on all the details to me. <laughs>
Matchington Mansion also utilizes gross-out tactics with these absolutely absurd ads that are like every other weird toilet ad from Homescapes, where you clog the toilet and fill the room with toilet water. The poop is like jumping out like a Mario fireball. I want to die. Then there are these sort of mean-spirited ads that I can only imagine appeal to people who buy issues of The Inquirer, where the protagonist of Gardenscapes and Homescapes Austin is cheating on a woman, Catherine. Sometimes Catherine is pregnant or she loses custody of her kids and dies of hyperthermia. And it's like, okay, I thought this game was for all ages. Why is Austin trying to get his dick wet? If he wanted to do that, maybe he should just destroy a toilet and flood the room. Remember how I said Matchington Mansion just lifted the poop jokes for these adverts straight from Homescapes? <laughs> Well, they lift another scenario where this knockoff property brother handyman guy is fucking the maid. But sometimes he's not fucking the maid, he's fucking the main character. And it's like an Austin Powers joke, like behind the screen when you see the silhouettes and uh, it's just so... Why? You're, it's a match three puzzle game. You just match it, it's just Candy Crush. I guess these people really get around. Lily's Garden, which is yet another Garden Skates ripoff, has some video where Lily gets pregnant and somewhere her mom sucks a wiener underneath a table. There's one where Lily's just like horny and she just rides a washing machine. Like, what? Is, these things look like they're, you know, Disney movies or something. And they're so like crass. Oh, that ASMR Toon Blast video. Why does it make that noise? That macaroni stirring in a pot ass noise. One of the most upsetting things is that this trend has influenced ads for series that were once absolutely legendary, like King of Fighters. This SNK All Stars game was shown with this commercial where Terry Bogart slaps some of the lady fighters' asses, then he wipes out on a motorcycle. This guy got into Smash Brothers. He wasn't just the king of fighters, he was the king of the world. He was Leo. Months later, Terry has clearly fallen on hard times and will take whatever work he can get. It's the equivalent of seeing some Bruce Willis or Liam Neeson movie that just sort of deposits itself onto Redbox. Like, you couldn't have done better, you know? It's like, come on, you're like Bruce Willis, you were in Die Hard, you can't, like, be in better movies you're just that desperate for a paycheck here have some standards there are these walking dead ads where norman rita saves some babe in laura croft shorts and then they kill like a thousand zombies like it's nothing it all looks like complete trash and i can only guess who these ads are supposed to appeal to like are kids supposed to be liking the gross out stuff are they supposed to feel like they are getting away with something risque? Are these ads appealing to adults? Am I supposed to feel like I have an urge to make over the slob or get revenge on my cheating husband? It's, it's also off-putting. I just don't see how it can be successful. What's really odd is that these ads seem targeted based on demographics. I'd like to see a study done, but anecdotally, my wife has a lot of ads that seem more feminine coded. A lot of you know, makeover stuff, a lot of home renovation. My ads seem to be more targeted to horny misanthropes. Some of these fake games will even let you play them. Yes, you can move the pin. You can style that slob. Just when you're getting into the stupid game that sucks and is taking away from the game you actually want to play, which is Sudoku, because I'm an adult who can buy my own insurance and everything. Your final click opens the store page for Poop Puller Saga. This is called a call to action. The ad wants you to download the game you just had so much fun playing, but there isn't even worse fate. Perhaps you fall into the trap. You think you're getting a sweet taste of some boring game that's being shown to you. The ads say you can play it, 
but instead it will automatically spring open its call to action store screen just for touching the screen at all. It's like going to a downloader website with like 37 different buttons that all say download and clicking anywhere creates a pop-up. You have to wait 15 seconds for a real X to pop up and continue. At some point these ads are just a battle of attrition or utilize some mind game tactic to trick you into playing and buying them. Rather than demonstrate anything that's actually fun, they want to trick you into trying it out. Or maybe even buy the ad-free version of the game you're playing, which is Sudoku, because you like good games. These ads challenge your identity. If the game is playable and pretends it's playable, it at least avoids the incredibly patronizing think you can do better type of ad. I've done a lot of analysis here. Look back at the pin pool or choose your own adventure ads and you will see that they often get the first step of the puzzle right. But then the second step, this incredibly obvious choice that a toddler could probably make is chosen poorly. A toddler, which has watched any cartoon, can tell you that a vacuum would explode if trying to suck up that much poopy water into it. Or, it'll set everything ablaze if you try putting out a fire with gasoline, but every time you have to see Catherine vacuum up some water and set her house on fire, or see her shoot whipped cream at the window so she doesn't die to the elements. But the whipped cream never works. She does die, while Austin gets to cheat on her. These ads boast something absurd like, only 5% of people can solve this, and it's one of the easiest puzzles you've ever seen. It's just three pins you have to move so Austin doesn't splash duty on them dollars. Just pull three pins, dude, you've got this. I theorize that this is done as a kind of challenge for the player. Like, wow, only five people can solve this? It must be, I must be really smart. I'm not stupid. I'm smarter than you. These videos where they intentionally show failure remind me of watching Blue's Clues or Dora the Explorer at age 14 and being so frustrated that this thing intended for babies with attention span issues doesn't react fast enough for my pubescent brain. I feel like this same frustration is harnessed to trick someone into downloading the game just to prove their mettle. You may ask yourself, well, if the ads are so bad, why do these trends persist? Well, the algorithm cares if something is engaging. That's the main metric for how successful an ad is. An ad doesn't need to make sense. It doesn't have to be accurate to the actual product. As long as you click on it, comment on it, think about it all the time, and buy what they're selling. These games have such a low barrier to entry, it doesn't matter if the average consumer sees the bait for what it is. We're small fish, and why settle for frying a small fish when you can cook a whale and fry it in its own whaley oils? I know why. Because hunting whales is unethical, and so are these ads. In our digital age, we are all servants to the algorithm. In fact, I made this video in hopes that you would click on it and drive up engagement. Maybe I've created an obscenely obnoxious looking thumbnail with my face pogging so you'd click on it. I could call for you to leave comments below on the most absurd advertisements you have personally seen. By the way, if you have any absurd ads to share, please comment below. I would love to see them. Or. I can show this video for exactly what it is, an analysis of why these ads are so annoying and pervasive. Maybe that wouldn't be the most beneficial to my goals of growing a channel, but I think it's more honorable. To close off, I'll leave you with the words of Confucius. The superior man understands what is right. The inferior man understands what will sell. Also, I, doing this video, I learned that these little fireball guys are called potaboos? Potaboos, I, I just always called them little fireballs. I guess they're actually, like, 
enemies. Looks like this guy is a, a pot of poo. <laughs> Fart sound effect. Also, that Confucius quote I learned from Pokemon Black and White. Kind of weird. You never know where you might learn some wisdom. Hey everyone, thank you for watching my video. Please consider subscribing and leaving a comment. It would mean a lot to me if you did that. And um, thanks for sticking around. Hopefully uh, I can upload another video as soon as possible. Alright. Alright. Thanks. Bye.